Good morning everyone and today we're going to have a short little video explaining about assignment one from the Cloud9 casebook. So this is the book here, obviously it's an Australian uh, auditing case and it's about a running shoe company. So there's some background information but assignment one requires you to fill out this particular table. So make sure that you go through the background information and the bullet points that the case asks you to examine. So for the assignment, we need to complete two tasks. One, we need to identify the significant or inherent risks. And number two, we need to be able to identify the account with which the risk is related. Now remember, we're only interested in the inherent or significant risks not the business risks. So let's, uh, let me quickly draw uh, or do a little explanation about the difference between the two. So what is the difference between a business risk and inherent or sometimes called in the auditing standards, significant risks. The key comes down to financial statement impact. Alright, so a business risk is a risk or are risks that management must face every day. Inherent or significant risks must have some impact on the financial statements and increase the probability of error or misstatement. So, in terms of significant risks, you've got business risks. Now some business risks will also be inherent risks, but some inherent risks are not business risks. So it looks like this. Okay, and what we're interested in is not just the shaded portion, but we're interested in everything that is an inherent risk. So this whole section here, I'm not interested in business risks that don't have a financial statement impact. So you'll notice that there are some that are both. Business risks and inherent risks will fall into this middle shaded area. However, for the audit and for assignment one, we're interested in only these inherent risks. So if you cannot tell me how the risk increases the probability of misstatement or error, it's not likely to be an inherent or significant risk.